Hello everyone, my name is Steve and welcome to the Getting Started Screencast for Stratospace. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your first form. Uh, in this case it's going to be a contact form and it'll at least familiarize you a little bit with how to create forms and get started with entering data. So what we've got on the screen here is what you would see if you just logged in for the first time and we're going to go straight up to the very top of the navigation where it says data and go right into the form builder. So where it says new Stratospace form, just go ahead and click on that. Now when the form builder loads, you're going to see that there's two parts to this form builder. There's the actual form itself on the right, and then there's the three tabs with your options on them uh, on the left. Now on the three tabs, you've got add fields, field settings, and form settings. Now the field and form settings actually come into play when you actually click on elements inside the form. So if I click on the title here, it's going to stay on the form settings. Now if you see if I'm going to click on it, it's going to go right to it. And here we're going to just edit the title real quick and call it contact form. All right, and you can specify a subtitle and play around with these options on your own. In this case, I'm just going to put fill me out. All right, now let's switch back to adding some fields. And again, this is just a contact form, so say we were going to embed this on our website. What we typically want maybe is a person's name, phone number, email address, and maybe a comment. So I'm going to just add a paragraph text so that it can enter quite a bit of data. Now, really all I had to do from here is just hit save and it's done. However, I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of the options that you can play around with on your own. So first off, we don't really need the title or the suffix for the person's name, so we're just going to trim those off by clicking on the field and we'll uncheck these boxes to remove them. Pretty easy. And let's make the field required so that you actually have to fill that portion out. And let's say I want the email address to be in front of the phone number. Now watch this. If I click on the field and drag it up, it'll actually re replace where the phone number was. So that's kind of nice. And you can do that with any of the fields. The other thing you can do is actually align them. So if you want the uh, name to be on the left, field alignment, change it to the left and we'll say the email address on the right you can do that too but I don't I don't want to do that in this case <clears throat> alright so let's say we need to change a couple of these labels let's say name we'll call it uh, full name and email address is fine phone number is fine now here we have the paragraph text below that says untitled we want to change that so let's change that to comments. And I messed up the O, fix that. And I don't really need it to be that big, so I'm going to change it to a little bit smaller. There we go. And let's add some instructional text. Tell me something. OK, now you can't see anything happening on the right side, but I'll show you when we create the form what that, what that instructional text does. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see that we really need to do a whole lot here. Let's see what form settings we've got to play around with. Um, how about this? Instead of confirmation saying entry submitted, we'll just say thank you. And redirect them to Google. This can be set to any website. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save it and see what we got. So there we go. After you create the form, it adds this object on your dashboard or your current view, depending on what you're in. Now, the object itself is um, quite capable of being modified many different ways. I'm not going to go too far into what each one does. If you, if you notice that there's tabs on the right side of this object, um, if you want to know what they do, just quickly hit this question mark and it'll explain it all to you. I'm not going to go over that right now. I just want to jump into the form and show you how to enter data real quick, and then we'll wrap up this video. Now, in order to jump into the form, what we're going to do is click this icon on the very top that looks like two windows. And when you click on that, it's going to give you a couple options. You can open it in a new tab, open it in a pop-up window, or you can embed it into your own website. In this case, I'm just going to open it up in a new tab. And there we are. This is the exact form that we created. Um, complete with all the modifications. As you can see, the first one's required, as we specified, and it does not have the suffix or title on there. So let's go ahead and fill this out real quick.
That's me. And testing. Okay, now on the right hand side, did you notice that the field instructions say tell me something? That's that section that I filled out for that field that was instructional text. And you can do that with any field. And when you click on it or, or focus on a different field, it will actually populate that. It's really clever. Now, this QR code on the right, that's an option that you can set on the form. I can show you how to do that in another video. Um, there's a couple other ones. You can have a keypad. You can have, you can have various things. So here we go. We've got everything filled out that we want, and now we want to submit. Now, if you remember, we actually made it so that it says thank you, not form submitted, and we also made it so it redirects to Google instead of just refreshing. So let's submit and see if it does that. Okay, there we go. Thank you, and Google. All right, cool. So I'm going to just go out of full screen real quick because I need to go back to the tab. There we go. And all right, so we've entered some data, and we're just going to wait for this to refresh as it did right now. And you'll notice that on the time bar, we now have one entry. And we notice that in the form, we have an entry listed here as well. So, say we want to take a look at that. Let's go ahead and click this. It looks like the two windows as before. And there we are. We've got our entry with its own QR code and everything. And from here, you can delete it or, you know, do whatever you want with it, print it. So, all right. So that's just a real quick tutorial on how to get started real quick, creating a form, adding fields, and entering a quick entry. Uh, if you want to view your entries other than just opening up in a new window, just click on this uh, icon that looks like a spreadsheet, and what it'll do is it'll bump you into the spreadsheet style view of your data. Oops. And there we go. 